All right, earnings are out, and we're gonna go exactly what AMC CEO Adam Aaron meant and disclosed when he was raising these earnings and what to look for when it comes to the trading session tomorrow, especially looking at after hours now, the price dropping um, by the minute, right? So do we need to worry, first of all? I will say no, why? Because even though um, when you look at the earnings, all right, when you look at the earnings, the company did good, all right? And by good, I mean it did beat the expectations, all right? 10 cents on the loss per share and almost more than 50 million on the revenue. But I think what we saw here, what we saw here on the spike, you know, at the time it was up, what, almost 340, 340%. When it was all the way up, the way up here, around 46. But so far, it's going down. So I think after hours is really one of those um, um, sessions where the volume is not as big, you know, as huge as it used to in the normal trading session. So even if it drops to what five, six percent here, we've seen this multiple times in the past. That what happens after hours and pre-market doesn't have to be necessarily what the trading session will look like. So why is this drop dropping? This is my guess. Um, lots of people were not expecting um, the company to actually release a loss, all right? Even though we did a little bit better than what the market anticipated in terms of loss, it is not what the market expected, all right? People were really keen to see finally AMC go back into profitability for the quarter. Even though revenues are pretty high, um, I think people are using this as well. Maybe we are not yet. The company is not yet out of the wood completely. And that's why we may see some people, you know, the boys with the big pockets, selling this after hours but again we'll have to see exactly how the pre-market session opens up tomorrow and you know finish ups closes before actually making some predictions about if going back down to a downtrend because so far you know it looks good on that uptrend going back up to you know these 50 or the 60s now Going back to this earnings release, the company did operate almost all of the movie theaters, not only here in the U.S. soil, but also, you know, overseas, especially in, in Europe and the Middle East. But people might see this and think, well, what if they operated almost 100% of the theaters and still managed to have a loss? Well, because not the same amount of movies that were out this quarter or so far this year, especially since June or July, when people started going back out to theaters and restrictions were less and less and less uh, uh, um, operational and available into theaters, all right? So we're going to see more of these restrictions kind of pretty much Dis disappear as we have more COVID vaccines, more COVID drugs to be into entering the market as the end of this year and definitely in 2022. So I think this is one of the reasons why people might see this like, mm, you know what? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, nonetheless, these are the words of AMC uh, 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 um, Adam Aaron. Financial results continue to improve and the company is still improving, you know, profitability, the bottom line, meaning the revenues, the attendance, and they don't consider this to be the end of the efforts that they're going to do in order to make AMC go back to not only where it was prior to the pandemic, but making it a very different company as they're entering multiple sides of, you know, the businesses, multiple sides of revenues to be created, and so forth and so on. So let's see how this thing uh, continue to trade after hours, but I wouldn't really worry about it because even though, you know, the hedges use this as, you know, a reason to dump 